no, it wasn't social media that was used necessarily to organize these things. The technology that was used was BlackBerry Messenger simply to say for these malcontents to get together and say, oh, I fancy stealing some stuff. So they were not really, uh, this was not a, um, the fault of social media. In fact, social media was one of the greatest implements in recovering from um, the London riots. The, the next day, after one suburb was hit, a thousand people all decided to turn up with brush pans and with brooms in order to clean up the town to make it livable again. And that was, a, a, again, it was a public interest. People want to help each other. They actually don't want to hurt each other. This is, this is a universal thing that people find difficult to believe. Do not st shut down technologies. If you shut down technologies, you shut down the possibility of people actually helping each other. It's, it's phenomenally dangerous to shut down technologies when there is a, a crisis going on. In fact, these technologies, because they're such low tech, are incredibly valuable to save lives, to help people, to ensure that you are protected. If you shut down that opportunity, you shut down the only opportunity there is to, to, to get people out of, out of danger. Remember, the, the criminal activity was shared on closed networks. So if that's going on anyway, and you're not shutting that down, then what you're doing is you're providing um, the accessibility for that information to be, be shared backwards and forwards and you're stopping people from hearing about it. Shockingly bad idea. Really unbelievably stupid. And frankly, everyone says, oh, well, if you shut down both lots, if you shut down the closed networks and the open networks, it'll stop happening. No, it won't. It won't stop it happening at all. People will simply call each other on the phone. They'll simply send out flyers. Though there are other ways of communicating with each other. This system is designed to root around damage. So therefore, if you shut one system down, another one's going to open up. It is phenomenally stupid to try and shut these things down. Instead, open them up. Provide the basis to produce a safe society. I'm, I'm genuine about that. If, they, if terrorists try to use these social media, it will fail. Partly because of the fact that everyone's going to know about it. Um, and secondly, because terrorists... Um, you know, the, the more, the more concern, concerning issue is the sort of people that I mentioned in the panel, which was the sort of pure anarchists, who are not organised terrorists. They're... It is a form of terrorism, cyber terrorism is a form of terrorism, but it's not the same, it's usually not born out of uh, conflict, it's not born out of political ideals, it's not born out of, uh, of commercial ideals even. Um, it's born out of a, a belief in uh, governments having too much power. And so cyber terrorism is really about t attacking systems, attacking networks. It's very easy to take a whole city down very quickly. If you, if you attack the transport network, the energy network, and the welfare, welfare network, you have basically produced a society that is wanting all the things it needs to live safely. So that threat is much more serious than organised military or, um, or physical industrial terrorism. Um, it's... it's you know, it's a much more serious threat and it's the one which is the least understood by governments and by decision makers.